All right, we're going to go over the basics of building one of these stainless steel water bottle hydrogen units. You need uh, just need to find a good one. Sub Zero makes a good one. I like Sub Zero. Two things you need when you look for one of these is the cap. the The handle cannot be hollow because we're going to cut away the handle which I already did and the top right here has to be flat three things it's also got to have a decent rubber seal on it so you need a handle that's solid so when you cut away from it you don't have you don't have a big hole in your handle good solid handle and you need to be able to drill got to have enough room to drill two holes one hole is for a bolt your positive electrode and one hole for the spout to hook a hose up to so we'll go ahead and get one of these holes drilled. Now you can thread your bolt in. You don't want the hole to be too big because you can't allow air to leak out of it. So a good way to do this is to heat the end of the bolt over your kitchen stove or with a blowtorch and then as you're pushing it through, you're slowly going to push it through and thread it through and then that'll formed new threads. If the hole becomes too worn and gas leaks through it, you can always use a little Teflon plumber's tape. Wrap it around the threads. Wrap it around the threads up here and thread it back in. Nine times out of ten that'll fix your leak. It might be hot enough. Here's the first part of our positive electrode. We're going to go all out on it. Because I want it to last a long time. I want to conduct a lot of electricity. We have the medium washer, a large washer, smaller washers for filler, and then another larger washer. Bolt to hold it down. We'll add some more washers. This is going to be in no particular order, no particular count. We also have a big bag of washers here. I also have a rather big bag of nuts. Cut them out of here. Add one more. Now we'll add our coupler.
Okay, there's the first part of our... And for the second part... We'll add a... This should conduct a lot of electricity for the experiment I have in mind with my motorcycle this year. We just got to drill one more hole on this side or on this side so we can install our fitting. Again, we'll heat that up so we can form a thread. Now, all that's left to do is put on a barb to slide a hose on. And we're all set. Just one hole for your electrode and one hole to slide the hose on. And here is the finished supersized wet cell. The one on the left was in my truck last year. The one in the middle was on my bike. And now we have this huge sucker. And because the negative electrode, being the bottle, is so much bigger than the other two bottles, the size of the positive electrode has also increased to make sure we have maximum effectiveness. And look at that hydrogen production just take off. Again, I wanted to build a wet cell that would draw a lot of amps so that I could use it to run in series with the headlight on my motorcycle like I stated last year. It will be real anxious to try that out. That was about the same production I had from the three cells hooked together in the motorcycle hookup demo. The truck cell, the bike cell, and the prototype mason jar cell. This should work really good to try out the hydrogen with the passive electrical system hookup. 